Hello and welcome to the Special Collections and Rare Books Department here at Ellis Library. What we have for you today is a manuscript book of hours written in or around the year 1450 in northwestern France. And the binding is probably original, or at the very least it is medieval. It is calfskin and it has been blind stamped. So the stamp has produced this beautiful pattern here and on the back as well but there is no gold or inlay or anything like that, which is why we say it is blind. We also have the remnants of a clasp, though over the centuries the connecting bar has been lost. When we open it, the first thing we see is this blank panel. Now this initially would have had some sort of illumination in it, some kind of decoration, maybe a biblical scene, but it was never completed, which in a way makes this book all that much more delightful because we can see that it was still used even though um, some of the decorations were not completed. Speaking of decorations, you'll notice here that it, we have this nice, these nice fancy flourishes here and that some of the letters are done in red and some of them are done in blue. Now the, this is a reading aid. It makes it easier to find your place in the book, to find important passages. It's called rubrication. And the red ink would have likely been lead oxide based. The blue ink, on the other hand, could have been lapis lazuli, but in this case most likely was just plant-based. And then the black, since we're talking about inks, probably iron gall ink, which was the common ink used in the Middle Ages. And I said that this is a book of hours. What that means is that it is a book that contains all of the prayers and rituals that would be associated with the holy hours of the day. Um, and in this case it is done according to the Dominican Order's um, guidelines, which might give us a clue about the book's origins. And indeed, as we get deeper and deeper into the book, we find some clues that might indicate where this book is from. Namely, that when we get over here and turn the page, we're in the middle of a litany of saints, right? Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. And in this case, there are some of these saints who can indicate where this book might have been from. We can see that here is Saint Sebastian, Sancte Sebastian, and also scattered throughout are Saints Fiacru, Saints Eutropius, Saint Serenicus, and Saint Aventinus. And those are all saints who are predominantly revered in northwestern France, near the Priory of Le Mans, which is about 200 kilometers away from Paris. And that then indicates that this was probably produced for perhaps a lay brother at a Dominican priory or just somebody who attended mass at the Dominican priory. The monastery of St. Le Mans is unfortunately now uh, destroyed. It was lost during the French Revolution. But it is nevertheless a, a delightful thing to be able to track it that far. And here we notice that there were some further decorations in the margins, probably again unfinished. And as we get a little bit further into the book, we're going to also find this little bit, which is also quite delightful. So this looks like a coat of arms, and that's probably what it is. The owner of this book may well have decided, I want my coat of arms in here, and this was a common practice to mark a book as belonging to a particular family. And so he had it put in the middle of the capital D here, which is a fun way to put your stamp on the book as a whole. And here we can see that there's some really hardcore rubrication, not just um, capital letters, but entire passages. And that is this book of ours. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that perhaps it inspires you to come take a closer look at it yourself. It and other treasures are kept here for you in special collections.